On today's episode of the Ron Messinger Show, we're making our Texas high school football regional semifinals picks. High school football fans, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. So to begin, Dylan, our first game features two powerhouse programs. Number 23, Euless Trinity, versus number 4, Allen. Now, both teams obviously are pretty good. They've made it this far in the playoffs. But both have had some weaknesses. Allen barely escaped South Grand Prairie. And Euless Trinity took Midland Lee to the final 15 seconds of the game to win this one. I think Allen will come out with the win, but I think it will be a really close and great game. Yeah, both teams were definitely uh, battle-tested last week. But I'm going to look at, you know, past games, more than just the games from last week. And, you know, Allen has really impressed me throughout the season and, you know, in a few games in the playoffs. So I'm going to go with Allen as well. Now, the next one we got number 19, South Lake Carroll versus number 14, Arlington Martin. Devin, obviously, we got to take some bias aside here and not pick Carroll this week. I'm going to go with Arlington Martin. They have been, you know, doing really well throughout these playoffs. I have Martin, too. They've been steamrolling teams. I believe last weekend they played Louisville, and I think it was 44-0 to in the first quarter. Not halftime, not the full game, the first quarter. Carroll, I think it would be a different story if Quinn Ewards was in this game. I still think they're capable of winning this game, but I think it will definitely be a closer contest than it should be for them. But I, I think Martin pulls it out regardless. Next game we have number 17, Spring Westfield. Versus number two, Duncanville. Uh, Dylan, I got Duncanville on this one. I'm not going to go against you here. I'm going to go with Duncanville as well. I think they could be knocked out during these playoffs, but I don't think Spring Westfield is going to be that team to do it. Now, next we got number 15, Spring versus number 11, DeSoto. Devin, this has the makings of a uh, really close game, but I'm going to go with DeSoto. I have DeSoto as well. I think it will be a good game at McLean Stadium in Waco. DeSoto nearly beat Rockwall last weekend in a great game. I think they'll continue to roll. Next game we have number six, Katie Tompkins versus number one, North Shore. I think this is the game of the week, yeah. and you can't pick against North Shore. Demetrius Davis is just the quarterback with the experience and championship-level experience at that. I think they'll win. Yeah, they really haven't given us anything to make us want to pick against them, that is for sure. So I'm going to be going with North Shore as well. The next one we got number 22, Tomball Memorial versus number 8, Cedar Hill. Devin, I've got Cedar Hill. I have Cedar Hill as well. Quarterback Caden Salter led their team to a big victory, I think, over Tyler Legacy. He just shows up in the playoffs last year. I think everyone will remember what he did against Denton Geyer. I think he'll lead Cedar Hill to victory. Next game we have number 21, Shadow Creek, versus number 9, Katie. This is a tough game to pick. Yeah. I'm going to go Katie just due to their... I, I guess they're used to doing this every year. I know, I know Shadow Creek is great in the playoffs, but Katie's program, I'm not going to doubt their coaching there. I think they'll win. Yeah, obviously Shadow Creek has that you know experience. They've done extremely well, as you just touched on, in the playoffs. They have that track record, but... I'm going to be going with Katie as well. Now, in the next one, we got 5 a D1 matchup between number eight Longview versus number one Den Ryan. Devin, I picked Longview as my sleeper pick going into this year. It's taking a lot out of me to not pick them here, but Den Ryan has played extremely well, and I believe they're going to win this game. I'm right there with you. Longview's Jalen Hale is looking like one of the best young wide receivers in the country. And he skied for some touchdowns last weekend. But Ryan is stacked at every position. I have to pick Ryan, although I think this would be a great matchup. Next game we have number 10 Frisco versus number 2 Alito. Dylan, you can't pick against Alito. JoJo Earl continues to be great. And he's got a lot of help. He's got the Allen brothers on defense. And DeMarco Roberts is doing it all as well. Listen, I could totally pick against Alito if I wanted to, Devin. But... I'm not dumb, so I'm going to be going for Lido this week. And who do you guys have? Where do we get it wrong? Let us know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a great rest of your day.